My name's uh, Scotty Smiley. I'm originally from Pasco, Washington, where I eventually married my high school girlfriend, Tiffany. We have two beautiful boys, Grady and Graham. I've been in the Army for eight years now after attending the United States Military Academy where I was blessed to graduate in May of 2003, and I'm just ha very happy to continue to serve my country. Captain Scotty Smiley has a beautiful family, a promising Army career, and a whole lot to smile about these days. But that wasn't always the case. On April 6, 2005, while deployed to Iraq, he would be faced with a situation that would change his life forever. We received intelligence that there were suicide car bombs still in the city and men willing to blow themselves up. We received intelligence as we were heading out the gate on what a possible suicide car bomb may look like and the possible location. I spotted this suspicious vehicle. I yelled at him to get out of his vehicle and he turned his head over his left shoulder and just raised his hands up and shook his head no. The second he let his foot off the brake, I made a decision and I shot two rounds in front of his vehicle and then my world went black. The morning of April 6th, I got a phone call from Scotty's company commander that he had been injured and, you know, this very strong leader, stoic of a man broke down and started sobbing on the phone to me, um, just telling me he's so sorry, he's so sorry. And it was at that moment that I knew it was, it was real and it was serious. The suicide car bomber detonated his explosives and shrapnel tore through Captain Smiley's eyes and lodged in his brain, stealing his eyesight and temporarily paralyzing the right side of his body. He woke up in a hospital bed two weeks later in total darkness. I later woke up in Walter Reed Army Medical Center. My world totally changed. Finding out that I'd be blind the rest of my life, half of my body partially paralyzed, uh, I really had to to make decisions on what I was going to do and what and where I was going to go, um, but it was hard. It was very. It was one of the darkest moments in my entire life, and that's that's where I really had to question you know what I believed in. So when I got there, I met him for the first time, and he was all bandaged up and bandages all over his eyes. But I just said hi, Scotty. He said hi, Tiffany, and that was good enough for me for the time, even though it's not the homecoming or. It wasn't what I ever wanted or ever thought I was going to have, but for that small little moment, um, it was perfect in a way. Scotty was in for the fight of his life and struggled hard with the fact that he would never see again. He was forced to confront his faith head on and was put to the ultimate test. Being raised as a Christian my whole life, you know, it's sad to say, but I questioned God. I questioned what I believed in. I questioned who I was and was the purpose in which I was serving and what I did, was that the right thing? In order to get his life back, Scotty knew he had to make peace, accept his blindness, and most importantly, regain his faith and his relationship with God. For me, it had to start with forgiveness. I had to forgive the man who blew himself up. I had to forgive myself for the decisions that I had made. Uh, but most importantly, I had to ask God uh, to forgive me uh, for denying him. And once I made that decision, I know all the prayers around the world, my wife by my bedside praying for me, reading the Bible to me, just that hope that God would continue to act and be a part of my life began uh, again and, and it was hard though. It was a dark, dark moment. Um, but once it did, I started to see you know, the light. I started to understand that God did have a purpose for me, that God did have a plan for me. Armed with his renewed faith, Scotty was able to see that with the love and support of his family, his friends, and through God, he could again do all things. One thing someone told me the day I'd gone to Walter Reed is they said it'll get better. And I thought, yeah, right. How could it ever get better? But it does. It does get better. I've forgiven the man who, who blew himself up. I've forgiven everyone who was responsible for it. And it's that peace that, again, that surpasses all understanding that God has given me that I go to bed perfectly fine. My thoughts are pure thoughts, clean thoughts on things to come and things above, that God has given me that ability. And I'm, I'm happy. I'm, I'm just the most happy man in the world.